Assalamu alaikum. I'm Hina Usman and I'm here again at BSU YouTube channel with another lesson of science for grade 8. I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn about density, mass and volume. By the end of the lesson you all will be able to achieve these learning outcomes. You will become familiar with the displayed vocabulary list after this lesson. To begin, I would like all of you to have a look at this picture. What do you see? You can see different objects. All these objects have two things in common. They all have mass and volume. Everything that has mass and volume is matter. The mass of an object is the amount of matter. The greater is the matter, the greater is its mass. This means the more are the particles in an object, the more is its mass. It is measured in kilograms or its derived units. The volume of an object is the measurement of space it occupies. It is measured in cubic meters or its derived units. On the other hand, density is the mass per unit volume of an object. Density relates to the presence and arrangement of particles. To measure density, we need mass and volume of an object. Denser materials have more mass but less volume as the particles are tightly packed together and vice versa. Let's look at this picture. Pause the video for a while and think about this question. Which is heavier, 100 grams of cotton or 100 grams of copper? Some of you might think Cotton is lighter than copper, however, they both weigh the same because both have same masses due to same number of particles, though they have different volumes because they have different occupied space. Now look at another picture with wooden and glass slabs of same size. They both have different masses because they are made up of different materials. So, there are certain points that you all must keep in mind. Each object has a specific density that remains same regardless of different mass and volume. It is a property of materials since each material has its own specific density. Therefore, different objects made of same material have same density regardless of their mass and volume. For your reference, densities of different objects are mentioned here. Ice is made up of water, but even then it has density less than water because the arrangement of particles become different in it and that's why it floats on the surface of water. To measure density, we need to calculate mass and volume. To measure mass of a solid, the object is placed on a weighing scale and reading is taken. Whereas, to measure mass of liquid, we need to follow the shown steps these will be explained later in the video during the experiment. To measure volume, different approaches are used. For regular objects, measure length, width and height with a measuring ruler or scale. Multiply the values and get the reading. For measuring volume of liquids, you need graduating cylinders and take the reading at eye level. Taking volume of irregular objects is somehow tricky. First, fill measuring cylinder or beaker with water, note the reading, then submerge object. The rise in the level of water is the volume of irregular object. Now let's perform few experiments in science lab. Before that, you need to focus on scientific inquiry method in which you always have to follow the displayed steps. So keeping in view this approach, we will perform few experiments. In this experiment, we need paraffin wax, water, ethanol, and beakers. Hypothesis for this experiment is that candles should float on the surface of water and should sink in ethanol or alcohol. Pause the video for a while and think whether our hypothesis would be correct or wrong depending on the densities of these displayed on the screen. We can observe that our prediction was correct. Let's perform another experiment in which we can calculate the density of water and ethanol. For this, we need the stated things. To calculate density of water and ethanol, we need mass and volume of both. 
To measure mass of both, we first need to take mass or weight of empty beakers. Note down the reading. Now, I'll fill beaker labeled W with exactly 100 ml of water and beaker labeled E with 100 ml of ethanol. Note down the readings from the scale again. The difference between initial and final reading is the mass of water and ethanol. I've summarized my observations in the form of a table. Always take two or more than two readings to get accurate results. I've taken these readings and then took their average. The results are density of ethanol is 0.78 gram per ml and of water it's approximately 1 gram per ml. We must know that 1 ml is equal to 1 cm cube. The prediction in this case is also correct. To summarize today's lesson, I have written the formulae for calculating density, mass and volume of objects when two things are given. To judge your understanding of today's lesson, you can attempt these questions and get your work checked by your concerned science teacher. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.